It's one of the most important pieces of advice in language learning. Hi, what's the best way to learn natural English? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. Well, the best way to learn natural English is to learn it in chunks. Now, I've made various videos explaining chunk, but I realise that many students focus too much on words, word lists, vocabulary. Now, vocabulary is important, but you can't just learn a list of words. You really need to put the words together in chunks. So what are chunks? Chunks are groups of words that just sound natural to an English person, a native speaker. And therefore, if you are exposed to a lot of natural English with films, songs, etc., you'll be able to pick up these natural collocations, fixed expressions, phrasal verbs, idioms, and you'll use them very naturally. This is very important to learn complete sentences and particularly chunks. So what are chunks in more detail? Usually chunks are something which sounds right and very often can't be changed. Let me give you some examples. Sentence starters are chunks. So you could say, for example, generally speaking, as a result, it depends on... Collocations instead are words that just fit together naturally. We always use them the same way and we can't change them. So, for example, go on holiday, do homework, pay attention. You can also say you're happily married, you do hard work. These are all natural words. For example, fast food. You would never say quick food, you already know the expression fast food, and that's what we mean by words that go together and that can't be changed, and they mean just one thing. So, these are natural expressions. Fixed expressions can't be changed in any way. So, you can say, on the other hand, all of a sudden, just in case... Functional expressions are also chunks. Functional expressions are groups of words that have a function. For example, if you're apologising, you can say, I'm terribly sorry, it was my fault. Then if you want to give advice, you could say, if I were you, I would. Or if you want to offer, you could say, can I lend you a hand? Idioms are also chunks. What is an idiom? Idioms are a group of words that, like phrasal verbs, have a meaning which is different from their individual meaning. So when you put the words together, they mean something different from the individual words. So if I say, I'll call it a day, it has nothing to do with calling. It means uh, I'm going home, it's the end of the day, I'm stopping work. If I say I'm under the weather, it has nothing to do with the weather, but it means I'm really, really tired, I'm not feeling very well. A blessing in disguise is another idiom, which means something which seems uh, uh, bad, in reality is something positive. Why should we learn chunks? We should learn chunks because if you're learning just individual words, you'll put them together and not necessarily put them together naturally. They may be right, uh, you may be grammatically right, and it may make total sense, but we wouldn't say it, so it just doesn't sound natural. 
and to sound natural the only way is to pick up complete chunks so you should really learn chunks and use them uh, rather than individual words last year i prepared a video which specifically distinguished the difference between idioms fixed expressions phrasal verbs and collocations and i also made a second video explaining how you can practice learning these which are effectively chunks so i recommend you watch these i'll put the links in the comments below and so you can watch these to find strategies on how to practice these chunks but the only way to learn any language is to learn chunks of language. And then you put the chunks together and you'll just spontaneously sound natural. So do take this advice. It's really, really important. It's one of the most important pieces of advice in language learning. When you've learnt your chunks, you're halfway there. If you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of when I next upload a video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!